now let the truth be told what's really happening with Google and YouTube and this Hulu stuff we've been hearing about on YouTube and <laughs> what's going to be coming in the future. I can't blame them, I guess. If I was losing almost a half a billion dollars a year, I'd try to do something about it too and change the things. So this is a story about how Google is losing $470 million a year by running YouTube and how the Hulu videos on YouTube are true. Explaining how their advertising sponsors would prefer to have their ads linked to mainstream videos produced by professionals and not by user-generated people or user-generated material as David's Farm is. Since this story was posted today, you can probably easily look it up on their website and read it for yourself. Right down here it talks about how they're losing 470 million a year, about how expensive it is to run the bandwidth and put all those videos on the internet and not charge the users who are watching them. And here it explains that not even Google can cons and here it explains not even Google can indefinitely sustain an almost half a billion a year loss. Here it talks about how many other companies are in the same boat and losing money even though this is a very popular format with user generated videos. And here's the part that they mention in the other uh, viral video on YouTube about HuluTube that advertisers don't want to be associated very much with user generated content. Here it talks about some of the crappy videos that are actually very popular and been getting a lot of hits that are really currently popular on YouTube but how they're the type of videos are so poorly quality shot that advertisers would prefer not to have their, their name attached to such a video. It says here it costs Google 360 million a year just in bandwidth to run YouTube but they only make 250 million a year and advertising revenue to run that site. And you can see right away that there's losses piling up. And that it costs 700 million a year just to run YouTube. Now we get down to this paragraph and it starts talking about Hulu that runs those mainstream professional television type shows or big budget movies and how they make a lot more money per advertising hit because the advertisers like people to watch these kind of shows and be associated with the, these advertisers. So, Hulu is making about the same revenues as YouTube, but has much lower overhead. As you can see here, YouTube would like to catch up to Hulu. So I guess the final paragraph says it all. I'll let you read it. So it looks like YouTube, Facebook, some stuff with Yahoo, other video sites that have a lot of user generated material are going to have to change. Now it's not going to be good for people like us or the viewers like you who would prefer to watch user generated material. But how can you argue with someone who's running a business that keeps losing money and there's <laughs> no easy decisions yet on how to save themselves. The people with the big money, their big ticket advertisers, don't like people like us. They want to be associated with mainstream professional quality Hollywood type video. That sucks. Who knows what's coming but Days Farm has existed for 20 years long before YouTube. It'll continue to exist but if they get rid of me like everybody else I'm sure it won't be personal I'll still be around, but I don't know if I'll be on the internet. I can't afford to run all kinds of free bandwidth either.